You are welcome to another video of Juniper Juno's associate course. In this video, we will configure the topics related to Juniper static routing that we have discussed theoretically in the previous section, like longest prefix match, default route, and especially qualified next hop and route preference. We will also see the difference between routing table and forwarding table practical in Juniper devices. In the last two sections, we have already prepared a laboratory for the static routing configuration. Two Juniper devices, Virtual SOX1 and Virtual SOX2, are connected to each other through the interface GigaEthernet 000 with the IP address of 10.10.10.SH24. Each device has a loopback interface with the IP addresses 172.16.11 and 172. 16.2.1 in Virtual SOX1 and Virtual SOX2. To establish the connectivity between these two loopback addresses, we have to create a static route in both Virtual SOX1 and 2 pointing to each other. But before that, we will add a new link between two Virtual SOX through Giga Ethernet 001. With the IP address subnet 20, 20, 20, SH24. So we can configure all scenarios related to Juniper static routing, included qualified next hop route preference, longest prefix match, and default route. To add a new link, we have to give an IP address to Giga Ethernet 001 in both Virtual SX1 and 2, and also add the interface. Giga Ethernet 001 into Trust Zoom. If you remember, we have already added all interfaces in Trust Zoom so they can communicate with each other without creating any access policy. We'll start with Virtual SX1 set interface Giga Ethernet 001. Unit 0, family inet, address 20, 20, 21, slash 24. And we have to also add the interface into trust zone with the commands set security, zones, security zones, and then trust, and then interfaces, and giga Ethernet 001. And we'll also Enable all system services for the device itself, host inbound traffic, system services, and then all and commit. We will do the same configuration in Virtual SX2. Set, let's copy it from the other side, the IP address 2, and the same configuration in Virtual SX2, and then after committing the configuration, we expect that two Juniper devices can communicate to each other through both Giga 0 and 1 with command ping 10, 10, 10, 1 and 2 and 20, 20, 21 and So, two Juniper devices can see each other through both interfaces, but the loopback interfaces cannot communicate with each other since we have not created any static route. Just to check it, ping 172.16.21 with the source 172.16.11. There is no route to the host. For the first example, we give simple aesthetic route for two loopback addresses, 172.16.1 and 2, in both virtual SX1 and 2, through the link above or Giga Ethernet 000. So they can communicate with each other with the command set routing options aesthetic route for the address 172.16.21 slash 32 with the next hop address 
the first lean 10 10 10 2 is the IP address of virtual SRX 2 and the same command in the other side to communicate with 172.16 1 1 through the IP address 10 10 10 1 and then commit now we expect that two loopback interfaces can communicate with each other, with each other again with the command ping so the connectivity is established as the next example we configure and test longest prefix match rule or the rule of the most specific route that we have discussed in the previous section for this scenario we create new routes in virtual SX1 and 2, but this time for the subnet slash 24 instead of slash 32. Yeah, instead of slash 32, we'll create with slash 24 and through the link below, we got to net 1 or 2020. We have already created the route for the subnet slash 32 through the above link or 10, 10, 10. And then we expect that traffic be routed through the above link, like now, because of longest prefix match rule. So let's check it. Again, this time for a slash 24 and through the link below, which is 20, 20, 22, and then commit. The same for virtual SX2 for 24 for the next hop 20, 20, 21 and then commit. To make sure that which interfaces will be used to route the traffic, we can check forwarding table with the command run show route forwarding table for the destination 172.16.2.1 as we can see the traffic will be forwarded from the above link or gigaton 000 and the next up 10 10 10 2. in the next step we are going to configure and test uniper qualified next hop and route preference concept that we have discussed about it in in the previous section we already have the routes for loopback address with a slash 32 subnet through above link. Therefore, the traffic between two loopback interfaces is forwarded through the above link. We will create another route for exactly the same a slash 32 subnet, but through the below link. We prefer that traffic between these two loopback addresses to be routed through the link above. And if it fails, switch to the link below. To do that, the new route must be created with higher preference value, which has lower priority. And the next hop must also be configured as qualified next hop instead of next hop. To do that, we create again for a slash 32, but uh, with a qualified next hop instead of next hop and with a higher preference value qualified next up 20 20 22 and the default preference of aesthetic route is 5 and we configure 10 for this route to be secondary route for this destination and then commit we'll configure again for the same destination another router again for exactly the same destination but we use qualified next hop instead of next hop 20 20 21 which is below link and with, with a higher preference value or lower priority and then commit and now again we expect that the traffic will be routed through the above link and the when the link above link is failed then the traffic will be forwarded through the 
below links. To check that, we can check it again with the run show route for warding table and for the destination 172.16.2.1. As you can see, still the traffic is forwarded through the above link. Now that we have created two routes for exactly the same slash 32 subnet, we can check Juniper routing table and the difference with forwarding table as we have discussed in the previous section. With show route command, we can check the routing table for the destination 172.16.2.1. As we can see, the both routes with the preference 5 and 10 independent of being best or not are stored in the routing table all routes independent of being best or not are always stored in the routing table but only the best routes are kept in the forwarding table in our example both routes above and below link are in the routing table but only routes through the above link is in the forwarding table to check that we can check it with again run show route forwarding table and destination 172.16.2.1 as you can see only the best route is kept in the forwarding table and when the above link fails then the route through the below link will be stored in the forwarding table and in the last step just to test the default route concept which is discussed in the previous section I want to delete all created aesthetic routes in virtual SX1 and replace them with a default route. So run show configuration and display set and then route grep route and to delete this route delete to one and to zero slash 24 and then with command show compare we make sure that all routes will be deleted all routes are deleted through both the above link and below link and slash 32 and slash 24 and then commit we add a default route to forward all traffic through above link and a second default route with higher preference value or lower priority and qualified net next up through the below link so set routing option a static route default route with the next hop 10 10 10 2 and again with the same subnet or default route but qualified next up is 20 20 22 and the higher preference value or lower priority and then commit and now we expect that the traffic will be forwarded through the default route since there is no other route for destination 172.16.2.1 or run show route 172.16.2.1 it will be forwarded through the default route since there is no more a specific route for this destination or forwarding table and destination 172.16.2.1 again it will be forwarded through the above link or giga ethernet 000 which match with the default route created by the user and the unicast route and then just to check it run ping 172 16 2 1 with the source 1 1 traffic is forwarded correctly between these two loopback interfaces